up y'all it's a cold nasty day here in central oklahoma and we're supposed to be going to swan this weekend but that didn't happen uh i saw a post on their instagram the whole place is underwater so we gotta ride somewhere this weekend it's been a solid month of hard chilling at least if you can tell these bad boys have been neglected there we go hopefully we're gonna get to go ride somewhere this weekend around Oklahoma. Most places are pretty, uh, pretty swampy. I know TMX is gonna have a race this weekend, and it's closed down. Stillwater's underwater, so we're either be going to OMC or possibly Janibers up in Oklahoma. We'll see what happens. If not, we're going to OMC. We're gonna shred some of that, what Rodney calls that OMC chocolate cake mix. So either way, we're gonna get these bikes washed up, and then hopefully either. Saturday or Sunday, we're gonna hit the track. We're out here at Game Moto, also known as Rock and G Ranch. Unfortunately, it looks like I brought the wrong mount my GoPro it won't stay tight for some reason on top of my helmet I don't know how much GoPro footage we're gonna be able to get today because it's gonna look horrible with this thing flopping around but I'm gonna kind of butt around for a little bit check the place out and then maybe we'll get some uh, third-person footage with the regular camera Natalie didn't get it on film, but I found the only mud hole in the track. <laughs> it went 100% amateur hour whiskey throttle straight into it. <laughs> so, it looks like I just did a mud moto, but in reality, I did like a mud endo. I got so lucky I had to piss up earlier, like, I thought I was eating it big time. Yeah, arms, arms feel good, cardio, but haven't rode in a month. What do you expect? I feel decent. Getting through ruts pretty good. It's a little bit one liney, but not too bad. But I don't think that'd be the case out here if it was like if there was a lot of people riding. I think there'd be a lot of lines. But up until about 20 minutes ago, there were four bikes on the track, so not a whole lot of line dip. But by the end of the day, it'll probably have quite a few. Take it easy. 
crazy. Fired up. Oh yeah. You gonna hit that triple or what? I don't know. I'm following you through it. <laughs> <laughs> I just told him I was I was signed off for the day on the triple. <laughs> Getting him an easy out. Danaberg Motorsports Park today for the first national, first world national, world national championship, winter world national championship. I blew my fork seals yesterday at Game Moto in that quality video you've seen of me about each complete crap. Yeah. So we only got one rider here today, Supernaw, again. He was his main main focus of the last video. I guess he's going to be in the second half of this video. So, I'm here with the Pit Racing team manager. They call me Pit. They call him Pit. That's where Pit Racing comes from. I just want to know, is our main headline rider riding up the spectrum? Is he worthy of Pit Racing? Do you think he's worthy of the winter world championship title today. I think he's just being a little conservative. He's trying to clinch that title, you know, not try to take it over. Board. Yeah, not try to get too sketchy out yeah. there. Be consistent, come in good. Yeah. I, I give him a good, probably give it about 60% out there. Yeah. Just enough to take the victory. We, we care about results. We don't want to be too flashy. Don't throw too big of whips. Don't get too crazy. It's all about title at Pit Race. As you can see, this is a title bike right here.
to on the day here at Danaburg Motorsports Park, the Winter World National Championship. And once again, we're here, we're all about titles, and we're here with the title contender today, plus 25 class, the Cole Superdome. How's the track out there? Not too bad, he broke in pretty good, second moto. Had frost on my heels, but he fell under the pressure. <laughs> Frost out there, make sure to bring up that caboose. You know, somebody's got to do it. Somebody's got to bring up that back end. But, you know, he's, got, he's on that fresh 450. He's looking good out there. You gonna throw some fat whips in this next moto or what? I'll probably keep the scrubbing to a minimum. We're just going for lap time speed. Get the whole shot and uh, probably just win this title. Yeah, it's just like that conversation we just had with team manager. No flash out here at pit racing. It's all about that consistency. It's all about the title. That's what we're here for. We're here for the win. <laughs> Before we left, I checked this guy's location to make sure he was actually here. Make sure he made it to the track. Yeah. Spencer. How you doing, boy? Drink a beer, boy. I had to pay some old gals to get my food. I bought theirs. <laughs> Worked out good though for me. <laughs> Talking normal and you get the camera out and I'm just like, uh, what, I, I, I how are you doing now? I don't know what to say. <laughs> About freezing hands off or what? It wasn't as bad as the first moto. Yeah, the real champion on the stick. The champ? The champ. I thought about trying this jump, but I was squirrely every time I came up with it. Yeah. I ain't running like you used to, huh? Nah. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> what do you think out there that time, Kyle? A little bit better. Yeah? Still tired. <laughs> get really tired. Hey, it's January. Yeah, we'll get there. We gotta break it in. Yeah. Get loose for the year. We got a couple months for the season to get dialed in. That's right. You gonna run the state series? Plan on it. Most of them, at least. It's gonna be deep in the plus 25 plus 25 will be one to watch this year. Steak and eggs, boo. Legs and eggs. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to my agent if you publish any of this. Oh, really? Yeah. Make sure you're not having any conflicts of interest? No. People might not know what I'm yeah. here and not. Gonna have a copyright on K&M Enterprises? That's right. <laughs> he might not know I'm here. <laughs>